hello everyone welcome back my name is my name is sumit and i welcome all of you to video tutorial series of dynamic crm presented by bispetrainings.com this is my next video series in dynamic crm 2016 in this video i am going to demonstrate you how to add a crm report on an entity form as all of you know that the CRM plays a very important role in data visualization. So in CRM, we can prepare reports and we can run a report separately. So the idea behind this video is to tell you that how can we add a CRM report or the report which is prepared in, which is generated in dynamic CRM. How can we run a report from an entity form? So let's move on to that. So first of all, we need to switch to dynamic CRM. So I've already registered on dynamic CRM and that's my CRM application, which I'm using right now. And let's have a look for the reports which are already prepared. So in this case, either we can use the standard report or the custom report. So for this video, I'm going to use the standard report which are already prepared by dynamic CRM. So click on reports. And here we have an account overview report. So I select this report and run report. So you can see the report has been executed. That's a report. And now we can look at the records by moving on to this arrow keys. So we can click on next page and the next record will appear. The next report will appear. So like this, we can move on to next pages, next report page. So my requirement is I would like to present this report page within a within an entity form. And whenever I look at the account record, it will display the record. It will display the report only for that particular account or only to a specific account. So for doing this, first of all, we, we required a URL. So I'll copy this URL, this report URL and paste in a notepad. Then I close this report. After this, I switch to settings, customization. Click on customize the system. That's a system customization option from where we can customize the system system tools. So the very first thing I'm going to do is within account entity, I'm going to add one iframe. So expand account entity, click on forms and select main form. I run main form and here I'm going to add one iframe within this form. So select this summary, insert one column tab and within this one column tab, I add one iframe. So I'll provide a name to this iframe as overview report. URL will be about blank. So it will display a blank record and I'll uncheck this option. If this option remain checked, then this iframe will not run the script, which is stored as a web resource. So and we need to uncheck this because this will restrict the cross frame scripting. So make sure to uncheck this. So I uncheck this so that the script will run perfectly fine. So click on OK. And the tab has been added within a tab. iframe has been added. So I just select this iframe, click on change properties and in formatting, I set the number of rows as a 15 just to increase the size of this iframe. So the iframe size has been increased and save and save and close. We'll be going to publish it finally once we done everything. So save and close. Now the next thing we, are, we will be going to do is we'll be going to add a web resource. So click on web resource.
click on new to add a new web resource and I'll give a name to this show report let's say show report show report and the type will be JavaScript type it's a JavaScript type English language text editor and within text editor I'm going to define the script then let's start create a JavaScript function so function let me increase the font size function show report or uh, let's say I'll change the function name as display report that's the function name then I create one iframe object is equal to XRM dot page dot get control and the control name is iframe underscore over view report that's the iframe name which we have designed then I check whether this iframe is blank or not so if iframe object not equal to null then I create one URL str URL equal to now here we need to give the URL so what we are doing is the URL which we copied just now I copy this URL but but there are some changes required the changes is we don't need this complete path so I'll just remove this path CRM reports viewer dot ASPX action run and help ID account overview I remove this and ID is equal to that's the ID and along with this I'm going to pass the ampersand because I want to track the current record the current record which has been open so for that we need will be going to pass the ID of that record so is equal to plux XRM dot page dot data dot entity dot get ID get ID and so I copy this and paste within URL so that's the URL CRM reports viewer slash viewer dot ASPX question mark action is equal to run and the an ID is equal to percent the ID of the report and records is equal to exam dot the page dot current record so this will extract the current record and then I set I frame object dot set SRC set source and source will be str url so whatever url has been extracted and stored into this variable that variable or uh, the value of that variable i set as a iframe object source so that's the code so let's copy this code for future use and just to make sure whether this function is working or not we can try one more thing we can remove it and a simple pass here alert function just to make sure whether this function is working or not so I'll simple save it and then we'll copy paste the code again because sometimes it happens the function not work properly so I'll save it close it and then we'll be going to call this web resource on the load event of the form so I again get to the account form and again open the form main form and then call this function call this web resource at the load event so let's open the form properties and then call that library the web resource so click on add and let's add the form library first so it's new underscore show report add it and within this show report the function we have the function and the function name is display report so I call this function on the form load event so form load add and this function exists in this library so call this function and okay okay save and close and let's test this so for testing this 
we need to publish the solution so i click on publish all customization So once the customization has been published, let's test it. So for testing it, I'll get to the accounts and click on any of the record. So you can see on the form load event, the function has been called successfully and we are getting one hello message as we have passed. So now we'll get back to the solution and web resource, open that web resource and we'll copy paste the function, the complete code again. report and I'll copy paste the code text editor and instead of alert hello I paste the code back on the web resource and ok save it close it Publish all customization. So the customization has been published. Let's test it now. So I'll get back to sales accounts and refresh the application once, the whole application once after the customization has been done. So finally, when I open record after the refreshing the application, so I have clicked on the, I have opened a record, a autumn corporation. And if I scroll down, if I scroll down to this record, you can see the report has been open. The report has been added. So we can edit the filter. That's for something like this. So we edit this filter. And instead of this, I'll say on or before current date. So we can apply the filter and run the report. So you can have a look here. The report has been opened successfully to this specific record. So that's how we can this or we can add a CRM report on an entity form. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel if you want to if you want to know or if you want to get more videos on dynamic CRM. You can connect with us with the customized training on dynamic CRM. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.